Bob? What do you reckon to this? Why are we here, Paul? Well, I thought I'd take you away from all the rampant commercialism of Christmas. I'd take you fishing in some of the finest waters in the world, Bob. That's great. Yeah? What's this place called? Norway. Oh, Norway! Yeah. Did you not notice on the plane <laughs> on the way over? <laughs> Am I with you for the entire term? You certainly are, you lucky, lucky boy. Merry Christmas! Come on. So, Paul, yeah. please justify to me why we are in Norway for our Christmas trip. Well, there's not even any snow. Well, look at it. Look at this landscape. It's elemental. I'm trying to get you away from the over-commercialised plastic me, 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 want, want, want Christmas, Bob. Yeah. I'm taking you on a spiritual journey as well, Paul. We're going to break you down, right, and build you up Dear again. Dear Santa, for Christmas, could have you broken down? <laughs> yeah, it's only a metaphor, Bob. But we are, I am going to take you to, brace yourself now, the maelstrom. What's that? It's only the most turbulent sea in the world. Oh, thanks, Paul. Yeah. Oh, it's like a whirlpool in the ocean. Yep, but on a vast scale. And you it's... thought Bob would like that for Christmas? <laughs> what fish might we catch on this trip? Hey, we might get a halibut. Halibut? You'd love an halibut. That's a beautiful fish. You'd love an halibut, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Ah! Oops. Just go! That's going nowhere, mate. Explain yourself, Paul. You've put us in a ditch. Yeah. Is that a Christmas <laughs> thing? <laughs> <laughs> it's very traditional in Norway to kind of drive into a ditch. To just drift to drift over. slightly into a ditch, Bob, yeah. <laughs> Reverse six centimetres. You reckon? Yes! <laughs> Come on. Go on, son. Go on, son. Go for it. Go on! Go on! Go on! Go on! Go on! Yeah! Uh, lie of the land. This is Norway. Long, thin, with a bulbous end, right? Yeah. So we are in the Vista Island archipelago. We're right up north and, and we're, we're on the west. Yeah. We're above the Arctic Circle in Santa Land. Yeah, we are. We're close to Santa. Now we're going to go into Lofoten. Mm. We're going to try and fish there. Right. Come on. Are you feeling apprehensive? Yeah, is this the sea here or is this a lock or something? I'll tell you what it is. It's kind of like a sea lock. Nice and calm. Is it salt water? Yes, it's salt water. I'm going to give you a sort of gentle introduction to the sea. I'm not even going to take you out on a boat, Bob. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we're on the rocks, you know. Those cows are a bit vocal, aren't they? Yeah. Nord cow. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, you all right as your yeah. knees? No, I found it was uh, full of, on my left butt, right buttock. So. You've brought me to the north. This is well, oh, You haven't gone again. I've got a problem with my Timpson soul. Oh. Come on. <laughs> it's weird, Paul. We come to this, what I have felt was a bit of a grim landscape. Mm. But you settle with it. You watch the motion of the waves and the majesty of these mountains. Mm. And suddenly you're an extra in Lord of the Rings waiting for your moment, aren't you? The council is in session. If you look at it up there, look, it really is Lord of the Rings, isn't it? Getting a bit nippy now, isn't it? Yeah. What's in your bag of fun? Well, my hands are about to drop off. I've got some gloves. Cool, they're substantial, aren't they? Oh. Are yours hands a bit chilly? Yeah, my hands are a bit cold. Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> They're not bad, though. Oh, Paul, you couldn't just press that button for me, could you? You could just give that button a press with your cold hands, your cold, bony hands. What the...? Heated gloves in your face. <laughs> oh! Three, st three stripes. Three bars of you heat? You could literally cook inside there. Three bars of heat? What if you popped an egg in there now, right? Yeah. What's that, gloves? You're here to keep me warm. <laughs> For up to six hours. <laughs> yes, he hasn't got any. I know. Are you talking to I know, so, I know. Are you talking to your gloves? Yeah, why not? Have you not got a relationship with your gloves? 
I've noticed that we look after each other a little bit more now, Paul. Don't we? Without bit. anything being said, oh, I'll just get that. Yeah. Would you like me to yeah. tie that? True. Well, that's quite touching, isn't it? Yeah. It's why you don't really want to be alone when you're older, you know? Yeah. It's why sometimes it's better to stick together, see it through, look after each other. See it through to the grave? Well, can you imagine? I mean, I, as I get older, I'm quite proud of the fact that I've been married in 34, 30, four years or something. It almost feels like an end in itself. Yeah, we're going to do this. Hey, let's see one. <laughs> Whoa, it's a bit of cardio, isn't it? <laughs> when, I, when I was first shown that by my uncle, oh, he was my hero. It's magic, isn't it? <laughs> it really is. What's oh, happening? Oh, that's a good one. Go on! Yeah. No. No? Let's face it, we need some help. We do, we're not doing very well. I bought this a long pole trumpet. What do you need a trumpet for? Because they use a trumpet to call in the fish. It's an old Norwegian thing. It's and not, is we it? We are doing so badly. Go on then, give oh. us a tune. OK. That's it, address the trumpet. That's it. Right. Yep. Come on then. <laughs> That bring us luck, Paul. No, it might, it might do. Maybe well, I should have tried, haven't you? done it nearer the maybe, fish. Yeah, maybe you should stand up and address the mountain with Where's it. Where's a good spot to look magnificent? <laughs> Come to me, Coley. <laughs> Let's be having you earrings. <laughs> Wow. I never liked jazz till now. <laughs> <laughs>
Corgi approved. But we are going to go and fish for cod out in the sea, just yeah. off the fjord. Yeah. Oh, I could fish for cod off the coast of Middlesbrough, couldn't I? Well, you could, but you wouldn't catch any. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> no, here they're going to be pristine, beautiful cod. Tasty. Yeah? Probably the king of fish on the table. Certainly for most of Britain. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I like halibut. You like know, a bit of halibut, don't I you? I do like halibut, yes. Yeah, well, there's a very good chance we're getting halibut and all. Really? Yeah, getting halibut and all. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, I am grateful yeah. for you bringing me to Norway for a special Christmas Are trip. you a little bit frightened, though? As for the maelstrom, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. No, Paul. you have absolutely no desire to go there. I have no desire to face death. Well, it's not certain death. Oh, no, it's not. It's more certain than, say, sitting in your bed watching Holmes Under the Hammer. It's well, all relative, what, with it? your heart? Yeah. 30,000 pounds? Oh, <laughs> oh he's gone. <laughs> Fishing good, Paul. Are you, mate? Yeah. I don't think I am. But you're better at this sort of thing than me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a bite. That's Not... a fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. In. That's a fish. <laughs> Shall I get out of the way or carry on? Yeah, OK. Try and reel him in. Just I reel. Try straight line or a tight line. <laughs> Bob's in. <laughs> <laughs> I keep winding, Jürgen, yeah? Yeah, keep winding. When the fish comes here, I see it now. Ooh, it's a cod. Look at the size of him! There we go. Look at that! <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at that, Bob. There we go. Ah, the hell. Wall up! <laughs> <laughs> Norwegian Christmas cod. Wow! Oh, God, he's muscular, isn't he? Well, they fight, doesn't he look fresh and oh, healthy? Yeah, thanks. Look at that. Can I catch one now? Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Can I give it to you? Absolutely. Oh. Congrats. <laughs> keep going, old timer. There's still Just a lot of fish going. here if you want to keep fishing. Yeah. yeah. There'll need to be a lot for Paul to get one. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, Paul. Believe it or not, Bob, I do actually like Christmas. Yeah. But I think it's just been trashed beyond belief. Oh, you're always saying that. Yeah, I do, but hang about it. Here's my new revolutionary approach to Christmas. So I'm going to put it out there to the Christmas gods. Match Christmas to the World Cup. So once every four years, then it'd be really special. I'm going to let that one... I'll come back to that. That is and interesting. Yeah. There you go. There's a fish. <laughs> yeah. Strike him. Oh! oh. What? Are you in, Paul? Yeah. Yes! What? Jesus, Bob. This is a really big fish. I'm telling you. Concentrate. Oh. Don't wind! <laughs> uh, when the fish comes up, yeah. you point the leader towards me, and I will land him. OK. Yeah. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! This is a beast. I know. Come on, keep reeling. See the fish now. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh my god. There we go. Wow. Congrats. <laughs> Thanks, you. I mean. Okay. How many pounds would that be? It looks like sort of 40 pounds or something. 40? It's 100 pounds of halibut. No. Yes. 100 pounds. Is that the biggest fish you've ever caught? Uh, I've caught a sailfish bigger, but bigger. that's the second biggest, yeah. Magnificent. For the main dish, we're going to have some amazing cod that we're going to pan fry yeah. with some creamy root mash and some local potatoes, local cabbage. Can I help you cook this delicious food? Of course Thank you can. Thank you. Of course you right, can. Right, well, let's get to it. You can actually start with the potatoes. OK. Hey, I'm a pretty good cooker. Yeah? Yeah. Why don't you cook the meal then? <laughs> oh! <Ooh. laughs> no, <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Mac got you. 2022. Hey! Very brown. Great nose. Stale pub notes. Cool. So, frying potatoes. Always important during Christmas to use a lot of butter. We've both got dicky hearts. 
Yeah, um, but one evening every year, so I think, yeah. I think it's going to be The hard. only thing is, is I use that excuse every day. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. going to be a problem, maybe. <laughs> I will start a new cod. We're going to add some thyme and some garlic. OK. And then it will be super nice. Oh, there we go, Paul. Norwegian Christmas dinner. Whoa. Cooked by Runa, but mainly by me. You didn't cook that, did you, Runa? Yes, did I did. All. Runa did it all, didn't she? I cooked the cod, I cooked the potatoes. She dominated you in that kitchen, didn't she? She did. Yes. <laughs> she did. Bon appetit, Bob. Bon appetit to you, sir. That cod is amazing, the yeah. texture on that, Bob. Yeah, that's been caught by a magician, it must have been. Wonderful, isn't it? God, it's amazing. Do you think you'd like to have this at Christmas, or would you prefer yeah, turkey? Yeah, This is a fantastic alternative, isn't it? Is this your first time in Norway? Yeah. I've always wanted to come for the salmon fishing. The only connection I can think of with Norway is that when, when my dad died, his favourite jumper was what they call a Norwegian fisherman's jumper, what he was very proud of. Really? He used to wear it all the time. And when he died, I nabbed it when I was a teenager as my jumper. Right. And I wore it right through. I know I wore it right through to my 30s because I've got pictures of um, me wearing it when we were doing the big night out. It's one of my characters, yeah. And then when I was at, at some point in my 30s, I've lost it or it's or whatever. Yeah. And I was thinking while we're in Norway, yeah. maybe I could find the exact fisherman's jumper. I know what it looks like. I've got a photo. And you got a picture of it? Yeah. Yeah, there is. See that, Paul? That's me, early 30s, wearing my dad's jumper. Do you know, I just used to live in it, do you know what I mean? Do you know what, Bob? I vaguely remember you wearing that. I knew you were that age, didn't I? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Early 30s. Yeah. So that's a little job, isn't it? Try and find, you know, a little adventure, try and find one of them jumpers. Used to make me feel close to him, you know, in yeah. some way. So I'll wait here then, Bob. Ooh, oh, indignant. Right, I'm going mustard. OK, come on, then. Look, it's simple procedure. Head, arm, arm. Pull down, all right? Yeah, I've made an error with this one. Oh. What if you put the head through the arm? No, it's not the right. <laughs> <laughs> I could read ah. it. Oh. Now, Bob, I really wasn't expecting that. Maybe after a, the wrong wash. So is it a bit small, yeah. <laughs> what one are you going for now? This is more like, actually, it's got slightly Christmas jumper vibe. OK. Do you know, remember that show, Jeremy Kyle? Yeah. Well, give me an intro. <laughs> and here he is, the man who actually stole his sister's wedding ring. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but look, at least that's a good length, isn't it? Are you going to try and fit on? Yeah, I've made a selection of things I'm going to try. And... OK, well, I'll yeah. view you then. Oh, OK, right. So the lie detector says, Wendy, this is your long-lost son. <laughs> oh, oh, that isn't bad. Yeah? That is not bad, It's actually. a bit Storm the White House, isn't, isn't it? it? Remember him? That's <laughs> exactly what it is. <laughs> and here, ladies and gentlemen, is the new mayor of Preston. What? Let's have it. <laughs> Would you want plenty of permission? Yes, please. What, for a new plot of land? Yeah. What, for an extension? Yeah, just a small No, one. no oh. chance, son. Do one. <laughs> oh, wow. That one's look good. Yeah? Is this my size? Yeah, you want it a little bit big. Yeah, yeah. Do you see? How am I looking there? I'm studying for an exam in science. I'll take it. Yeah. Thank okay. you very much indeed. I'm very pleased about that. Yeah? Very pleased. Good. It's great, actually. No, I'm really pleased for you, man. What a lovely thing to have got, eh? Yeah. The, uh... I met the mayor of Preston in there. I've heard about him. He's really Larry, isn't he? I might move out of Preston. Barney. Here she is. Oh, he's ca ca ca. Here I am. Ah. How Hello. are you? Oh, <laughs> nice to see you. I'm struggling to get up. Thank you for coming. Well, I was just in neighbouring Sweden and yeah. I heard you guys were here, so I thought I'd um, pop what, in. You, and you popped to another country pop just in to and see say us. hello. But um, where's Ted? Oh, don't say that, Ulrich. He's not here. Oh. No. That's, That's why, why I came. came. <laughs> <laughs> it is why I came. Right, are we going in? Go, let's go in. Did you enjoy doing shooting stars, Ulrich? 
Yeah, I, I would say it was definitely one one of the, or if not the favourite job. It was I good had. fun when I never yeah. knew where you were having fun because it's a. The joy was getting paid to laugh every evening yeah. and not knowing what was happening, not knowing what was going to come about. At like that time, you made me drink a pint of tomato soup. Ah. <laughs> So, Ricky, yeah, it's our Christmas show. So, can I interrogate you about a Swedish Christmas? Mm. The Swedes are really good, actually. They don't start with all Christmas decorations and Christmas cards in August. It comes mm. quite late, so you're not fed up of Christmas by the time it comes around. It all happens on Christmas Eve. That's what? the what big I? day. Big ham, my own meatballs, sausages, salmon. It's a smorgasbord. They're healthy eaters, the Swedes. Yeah, I mean, I think they've always been known for eating a lot of fish. They do like their meat, mm. though. And traditionally, right. when I grew up, if you sat down for a meal at a table, all the men, everybody would be drinking a glass of milk with their meal. Isn't that weird? I used to drink milk as a kid, but it doesn't feel like a drink anymore. No, it I feels like punishment. That. Yeah. You do all the cooking. For the, yeah, for... yeah. And I normally, the Swedish stuff, I normally start doing that sort of... October, November time, start Whoa. freezing it and you whatever. start cooking it in October. Well, <laughs> I do freeze it. <laughs> do you yeah, find... it tastes lovely by December mm. the 24th. Hey, Ulrika, I lost my... I have a little cat called Mavis. She was my best mate. Oh, and right. she used to sit with us at Christmas dinner with a little, you know, napkin on. No way. Meat. And I'm going to miss her so much. Oh, God. Oh, it's your first Christmas without her. Without Mavis. And you, you've lost a couple of good friends this year. Oh, time, gosh, yeah. <clears throat> well, I've lost... Um, three bulldogs in the space of four years now, whatever. And the last ones, the last two went a year ago, yeah. Mm. I don't it's mean heavy, to play no. top you two, but I lost my mum. So this is going to be oh. my first <laughs> Christmas without my mum, really? all right? Oh, so you can put your cats put and your cats bulldogs and dogs away. to one side, Fair all right? Enough. Fair enough, yeah. absolutely. No, no. But do you know what I mean, in a way? I think, I, I suspect you'll really remember your mum on that day. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. You, when you sit down. Yeah, and, of course, yeah. But I think in like, yeah. quite a positive way, because hopefully their Christmas Day is good memories. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't. I'm not really undermining your loss of your cats. <laughs> no, no, because you know the unconditional love you get from a pet is yeah. not to be underestimated, is yeah. it? You know. Hey, so this Christmas we'll all remember your mum. Well, yeah. My Mavis. Your Mavis. Mm. What your... were yours called? Oh, Nessie and Fella. <laughs> God bless them. God bless them. Thanks for coming, Ulrika. Well, it's been great, because yeah. um, I got to taste your scrambled eggs and a little bit sad about Ted, yeah. but... Mm. Mm. So, you, you're all right to walk to the airport, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a horse waiting outside. <laughs> Paul. 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 Paul! Bob, where are you? Follow your nose. Food's ready. I saw you fishing over there like a trooper. Did it look good? It looked good, but... All to no avail. A wonderful place to be, though, isn't it? It is. It truly is. Bob, you've Christmased the place. I wondered if you'd notice it. Yeah. Look. And there we have it. Arctic char. There you go. Have you ever tasted it before? Uh, as a matter of fact, yeah, I have eaten Arctic char, but, but not in such an extraordinary setting. Do you have such a thing as cutlery? Just tuck in, it's like a... I can't do that. How do you think I'm a bear? I'm so much more outdoorsy than you, you know what I mean? I'll use my hands. Mm. I commute with the bears, the pigeons. You commute with them? Yeah. Do you mean commune? Commune. <laughs> See you on the train in the morning. <laughs> oh, an morning bear. <laughs> morning pigeon. A lovely, intimate venue. Yeah, yeah, great, isn't it? Who's presenting the awards tonight, Bob? I Who have you got someone like Graham Norton, Richard Iyer, Waddy? No, it's me in my jumper. See, I really want to have a go at you, but I can't. Does it look good? But the fact that it's the sort of end of a little journey for you, you know, and you, that kind of reconciliation with your dad. Yeah. It right. does look good on you, I have to say. Let's toast your dad and my mum. To dad. Well, let's hope they're not getting up to any funny business up there. <laughs> <laughs> right, Paul. Bop, bop. I think it's time for the Gone Fishing Awards Ceremony. 
Yeah, you're nominated for the awards, OK? OK, yeah. I want you to demonstrate your face when the award goes to Rob Brydon or me, OK? Right. OK? OK. And the award goes to Rob Brydon. That's about right. That's about right. That's about right, yeah. It's pretty good, yeah. So, welcome to the Gun Fishing uh, Annual Awards. My name's Bob Mortimer. I'm the lead angler in the show, assisted by uh, the other fella. Come on in, what's the okay. first category? Employee of the Year. Let's have a look at the nomination. Oh, look at you. I'm actually fishing quite professionally at the You're moment. You're fishing very well there, Bob. What's your cheeks? What's your gorgeous punch in the cheeks? A bit far, Bob. It's that strength. Don't wind! Winding moron. Oh, oh. Don't want him. Wind it in, but wind it. Wrong rod! Wrong rod! If you wind again, I will throw you in that lake. It's just a catalogue of disasters. Did so you do far. a funny look, then? No, not at all. Ted's really showing up. You know, it's like having George Clooney around, doesn't it? Can you shift over a bit, Ted? I'll do all right, son. Yeah, I know you will. Ted's making a late, strong showing, isn't he? He's going to win it, isn't he? <laughs> it's now done. It's got to be with these. Here we go, Paul, Employee of the Year. Yeah. 2022. And the winner is... Paul Whitehouse, Employee of the Year. Get out! How does that feel? Put a little trophy for you. What? Employee of the Year 2022. I don't believe it, Bob. Wow, what a trophy. Look at that. You want to say a few words? Yeah, I'd like to thank everyone I know, everyone who's helped me on the path to glory. This is the big one. This is the pinnacle. Can we wrap it up now? <laughs> this bloke's a bore. <laughs> uh, Get him yeah. off the screen. Thank you so much. It means, it means, it really does mean the world. Thank you. Thank well done, Paul. Thank you, Bob. Next category. Yep. Is catch of the year. There was some nice fish this year. Yeah. Whoop. Yeah, it's a grey lead. <laughs> yes. It's is that a fish? Yeah. Or is it? It's a tree. No. No, it's a no, fish it's and a, fish. a tree. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> is that your barber? Oh my yeah. God. Oh my God, look at it. Look at that fish, <sighs> Paul. Look at that. Magnificent, beautiful, common <laughs> cod. <laughs> Look at that! Oh. <laughs> this is the big one for me. Yep. This is the one I'm on. Yeah, just because you know you've won it. I don't know I've won it. Okay. But I should have won it. Here we go. Here's the winner of Catch of the Year. Hi, lads. Now, I've always been reliable in the field, but this catch was something else. And it was achieved with style and grit. Yes! Catch him, Freddy! So, Catch of the Year goes to. Bob Stokes Mortimer. Keep fishing. It's right as well, you know. Yeah, he's right. Come to think. Here's the award for catch of the year. Well, I'm not giving it to you. Oh, you. <laughs> there we are. That's the start. Oh, that would be faster than a prison, maybe. Oh, Teddy. Hey, Teddy. What are you doing? I thought we could have a trapped Christmas dinner. I've got trapped turkey and trapped sprouts, which I didn't know you could get. You up for it? Really, Bob? I don't... I'll just go open that for you, yeah? See what you think, then? What do you think? Oh! <laughs> Wallop. Oh! oh, 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 oh. Shall we not? No. Can we not? Blimey. Okay, it was just. We've that. already eaten our body weight and food since we've been That's here. That's true. We? But come on. Oh. oh, look at that. Are you like? I do like. There's only one bit I don't like, is that. What bit? You know very Oh, the well. trophy, yeah. Hey! Yes. That's my special Christmas centrepiece. Gone fishing <laughs> Christmas cake. Wow, oh, that's brilliant. The little Ted. The little Ted there. Oh. That's a bit sad he's not here, isn't it? Yeah, he's been in the other Christmas shows. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't get anything. That's all right, Paul. You brought me here, didn't you? Hey! 
Do you really think I didn't get you anything for Christmas? Yeah, you just said you did. Yeah, I know, but wait. Just wait there. Oh, Got a little God. Christmas miracle for you. What? What? Oh, yes. Come here. Come on. You've had something delivered. Hey, it's Ted. Ted. <laughs> we will be lonely this Christmas without me. <laughs> magic. Oh, what about that? Christmas magic. He's not very good at saying it. Wherever you are. Oh. Oh. And away. And away.